Yeah. We sure are glad you decided to meet with us today. See, Deacon Ragland, right? Yes. Mama Scott? Yes. I sure am glad to see some friendly faces meet me because if I recall, you got a deacon and they're real thrilled with me. Well. Ooh, I like that. Well. And don't you worry nothing about him. Listen, honey, I don't care what goes down today. I'm voting no, no, no. I don't want any woman, much less a white one, as my pastor. Really? So, <laughs> you have any children? I have three children. Three? Yeah. Listen to me, you old goat. Be open-minded for once in your life. You are a blessed man. Yes, God, is good. Oh, my goodness. Good morning, Reverend Jane. Thank you for coming out and see us. Oh, certainly. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Reverend Jenkins, thank you for agreeing to meet with us. Sure. You said you needed a week to seek the Lord. Did you come up with any conclusions? Well, the Lord did kind of soften my heart. But I think we just need to spend some time getting to know each other. I mean, we have a pretty concrete decision to make here. We agree. But would you mind if we asked you a few more questions? No, not at all. Well, I just have one question. Hmm? Why did you get fired from the last church you passed? Lamar, I told you. I didn't get fired. I resigned and it hurt me terribly to have to do so because there were so many people in that church that I dearly loved. Why did you then? Simply put, I wasn't the pastor for them. They were stuck in their decades of traditions. And frankly, I found that an utter waste of kingdom time. A waste of time? That's a pretty harsh way to put it. Why do you see it that way? Short version, and truly, I, I don't mean to offend anybody, but we spent days and weeks in pastor appreciation, deacon appreciation, church anniversary, and Lord help us during revival season. It, it was just on and on and on. See, I told you she was going to cause trouble. Deacon Hall, please give a chance to explain. Go ahead. In all those meetings, only one time did I ever see anybody get saved. And not even one time did I see anybody get healed or filled with the Holy Spirit. So for me, it was wasted kingdom time. Let me tell you something, lady. Deacon Hall, sit down. No, no, no. That's all right. That's all right. Deacon Hall. There is something you can tell me. Exactly what is your problem with me? Come on, spit it out. You're white and you're a woman. What? 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 Well, now, 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 come to think of it, you, you got me there. Still, I think I can solve this problem. <laughs> What's this mess? No. Okay, now, your turn. Give me a little sniff. Oh. Right here. A I told sniff. you she was crazy. I told Sniff. See? Problem solved. In the dog world, you and I are now best buds. <laughs> <laughs> she got you there, Dee. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm so sorry. We love your mama so much. It's Alice, Jeannie's daughter. Jeannie is dying and she's acting oh, no. so scared. Mm. Jeannie is our only white member and she has been with us a mighty long time. Jeannie wants to know, can our pastor come right over? Her mother just screamed in fear. We don't have a pastor. Please, Reverend Jenkins, would you do this for us? Fear is no way to die and Jeannie deserves to die in peace. Are you people nuts? You gonna send Looney Tunes over there? Reverend Jenkins. Do they know that you don't have a pastor? Jeannie does. Alice doesn't attend church. Please, Reverend Jenkins. Jeannie would just want to hear from someone who knows how to reach heaven. Then I'd be more than happy to go. Good. We'll take my car. I know where Jeannie lives. I have a business meeting. But Deacon Hall, Deacon Raglan, they will follow you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here. If you're going to let your feelings toward Reverend Jenkins get in the way of doing your duty as a leader in this church, 
But then maybe we should reevaluate your position once we return. Man, are you serious? Well, I agree. Lamar, I'm your friend. But leadership requires duty and compassion above personal feelings. I'll do whatever needs to be done for the good of God's house. All right, I'll get my car. Thank you. Alice, this is Reverend Jenkins. Hi. Guys, I don't know what's going on. You know my mom, she's always been so religious. You know, talking about Jesus and God and all that kind of stuff. Tell us what happened. I don't know. I mean, one minute she's perfectly fine. She's happy, she's ready to die. The next minute, she's just scared. Just really, really scared. Alice, dear, I'm so sorry. Somebody do something. I mean, this is awful. Alice, would you mind if I go back and spend a little time with your mama? I guess. Okay. How about if I go back there by myself? You know, I think it might embarrass her if everybody sees her like this. 